Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on girlfriend denim, specifically these jeans right here. So if you have Instagram, if you follow fashion, bloggers, influencers, all that good stuff, you have definitely heard of Girlfriend Denim. It's a really popular denim line based out of LA that has kind of blown up over the last year, year and a half. And I swear, just about every influencer that I follow for fashion inspo has been wearing these jeans. The Girlfriend Denim Carolina High Rise Skinny Jeans. I've had these jeans for about a year and I feel like I can definitely give you my opinion on them. A lot of you guys have asked me if they are worth it, if I think that this trend is around to stay, how I like to wear them, sizing, comfort, all that good stuff. So I'm going to cover all that in this video. So Girlfriend Denim, like I was saying, are based out of LA. They do make all of their jeans in LA. I did read somewhere that their inspiration for the line were the 90s supermodels and that whole era and how they were just so effortless and would wear these kind of like high rise mom jeans and still make them look so sexy and amazing. Just very simple, effortless looks. And I feel like that has really come back around. I feel like some of my favorite outfits are more simple ones. So these are the ones that you have seen all the cool girls wearing on Instagram. These are the Carolinas in the A Little More Love Wash. These retail for about $248. So they are definitely premium denim. I would absolutely put girlfriend denim in that category, you know, with like Paige, J Brand, Rag and Bone, all of that. The price point is definitely similar. So when I am spending upwards of like $200 on jeans, you know, it's premium denim, like I was saying, I do expect the quality to reflect the price point. And I do have to say that for girlfriend denim, it definitely does. I was really pleasantly surprised when I got them. Now they are 100% cotton, so they really don't have any stretch to them, but the denim is such a nice weight. It's not too thick, but it's not so thin and flimsy that it looks or feels cheap. The wash on these specifically is perfect. I do think that girlfriend is really, really strategic with their washes. Um, just like where the fading is and everything, it's really flattering on the bottom. Body. The distressing is just so well placed and it almost has like this already broken in look You know some of these things were already like hanging when I got them when I pulled them out of the box when I got them They just looked and felt like jeans that I'd had forever So although they were 100% cotton they felt really soft and like, you know worn in and washed not that like super stiff denim For example, like when you get a new pair of Levi's 501s or Levi's wedgies, they feel like cardboard so I was really pleasantly surprised that these did not feel like that mine are the ones with the butt rip these do come without the butt rip I went for the butt rip just because I was feeling scandalous I guess <laughs> no actually I ordered the ones with the butt rip accidentally I didn't realize that there were two versions but I will say that the butt rip is not offensive granted I don't have a big butt at all but it really just sits like below the cheek you know so you don't see any like under butt cleavage or anything weird going on I definitely don't feel too exposed or anything when I'm wearing these I feel perfectly fine so if you are thinking about the ones with the butt rip you have a little bit of a smaller booty like myself you'll be fine but yes I definitely think that the quality it reflects the price point the hardware everything they're just really well made so these definitely have a high-rise fit and I'll insert a split scoot of what they look like on me I'm five foot six and girlfriend does make a petite version of these and then a regular version so obviously like the inseam and the lengths and all that will be different but I wear just the regular ones in girlfriend not the petites obviously they're definitely a little more fitted through the waist and through the hips and they start to fall into a little bit more of a straight cut as it works its way down your legs you have like pretty skinny legs so that obviously will make a difference depending on how fitted they are on your legs and whatnot but for me, I really like how they look, you know, they definitely create the illusion of a waist for me because I don't have a particularly defined waist and it really balances out with that more straight leg look at the bottom. I was really surprised that these fit me because I have tried other brands that make similar cuts to these, these like high rise cotton jeans um, and I can't get into them. Like no matter how much I size up, I can't get into them. Even the high rise Levi's 501s, the Levi's wedgies, I've sized up to like a 31 to get them to close on my waist and then the legs and the butt look crazy I look like a clown those jeans just do not fit me I can't even like make it through the breaking in process with them <laughs> but girlfriend did fit me and I did purchase these in a size 29 so sizing wise which was the main thing that you guys always ask me about with these jeans I would say that they definitely do fit true to size because I am truly a size 29 and it will take a little bit of breaking in I feel like the way that you know whether it's your size or not is if you can close them all the way up obviously now you might have a little like 
roll spillage or it might feel a little bit tight but if you can get them closed they are definitely your size because they do stretch and conform to your body like 100 percent might feel a little uncomfortable at first but if you can get that button closed and you totally don't feel like your circulation is being cut off it's definitely your size it'll just take a little bit of wear a couple of you know sit down stand up walk around moments and they will stretch and fit you beautifully if you cannot get them buttoned all the way up you probably have to go at least one size up but i wouldn't recommend going more more than one size up or you'll definitely lose that really cute fit through like the button legs it'll just get a little too baggy I feel like another thing that you guys asked me about is do I think they're versatile do I wear them a ton and the answer to that is yes they're super easy to wear I can wear them out for dinner and drinks with a cute top like this one and some little heels a nice little crossbody bag and I get tons of compliments when I wear these out at night people really seem to love them love the wash always ask me where they're from I also love wearing them super casual in the daytime with just like a tucked in or knotted up a t-shirt and some vans just like everyday errand running super chill situations we'll say that these do look best with cropped shirts um, tied up shirts or something tucked in like a blouse whatever just so that you can really again accentuate your waistline throwing a belt on with these also makes you look snatched so overall, I would say that they are definitely worth the price point. I absolutely love them. If you're not quite ready to spend as much on these, you can definitely go for the Levi's. Um, again, they just do not fit my body, but the wedgies or the 501 skinnies definitely will give you that look. But if you have been thinking about getting these, the girlfriend Carolina's, I do think that this friend is here to stay, so go for it. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you have these jeans and how you like to style them or if you are thinking about purchasing them. That is it for this video, and I'll catch you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.